friends, I'd like to introduce you all to a very special, a very special stream of Zedet. Welcome. You asked for a really good game. And I've been told that this is a really good game. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Zedek. Uh-huh. That's the game. Who's ready for Zedet? Nobody. I don't care. Here we go. Oh, wait. Before we start, let me let the Cusa Grande Discord know I'm playing Zedet. They'll be excited. good okay yes yes the music is the music is especially awful let's look at the uh uh-huh options menu great perfect excellent fantastic here's our story That's our story. Here is the great map of Zedet. We're going now. Yeah, did it. Yeah, did it. Look, the music gets worse. Yeah! So, shoutouts to NPC for uh, gifting me this game for- Oh, God! I would like to continue, please. I don't think anyone else would like me to continue. But this is my stream. This is my summary! Of what 2021 has like has Yeah, underscore. I highly doubt NPC was playing Call of Duty. <laughs> oh god. Hi Corn Dan. Oh that is That is mechanically interesting. Captain Novelin is more like it. That sounds like the NPC I know. So NPC uh, gifted me that that's not going to work. 
NPC gave me this for Christmas. Just randomly Steam dropped it on me and said, enjoy the best game of 2021. This game came out this year, by the way. This is a new game. We'll, we'll get that eventually. Oh, is the game too loud? I'm... I am somehow... You know... Now that I turn it down a bit, um... I am suddenly aware that I was yelling over the game. Did NPC also, also give me pears and Grey Witch? Uh, no. But I may well, uh... I may well grab that for myself, because I have heard enough about it at this point. Where I, I feel like... So, here's the thing about Pears and Grey Witch. I have heard the name so many times. But I still don't actually know what that game even is. Oh boy, I don't know how to deal with that. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel... Uh, I feel very strongly that everything about what this game is the movement, the art, the sound, the design, everything about this is very, very self-aware parody. And I like that. All right. I don't know how to get past that. Cornan, you're the person I want to ask about this. Was there or was there not a Cusa Grande match of this? Because I remember seeing this somewhere. And I had a great time watching it. That's what it was. Because I kept looking for it on... Uh... Okay, well that kind of worked. That was better. Excellent. Yeah, I remember seeing... So that's why I thought it was Cusa Grande, because I saw that it was a four-way race. And I watched it, and I laughed and had a great time. But I tried to find it on YouTube, and I couldn't find anything... Um, I couldn't find anything related to Cusa Grande. And it hadn't occurred to me that it would be Big Bad game -a Big jumps. Okay, I saw this in a demo video. That background element is a thing. That's a thing. That was embarrassing. But it won't be the last time. Uh, 
And just think, if everyone had picked just a regular good game instead of a really good game, we'd be playing Disc Room right now. But no. Y'all had to be greedy. And your greed has paid off with a superior experience. Just because that makes sense doesn't mean you didn't just make it the f*** up. That's honestly, Sanrio World Smash Ball is like... I saw you play that and I was like, oh shit. Oh. Oh, this is some real gameplay here. That looks fun as hell. But I had people give me silly games for Christmas, so I had to play at least one of them. All right, so I got an idea of how to deal with that now. That's too early. Okay. All right. We're still good. Snake's still coming. Still coming. We're okay. This is as far as I watched in the demo. That might not be good. No, it's still good. Success. Wait. Unless failure. Okay. Wait, what is that? Oh, no, I don't like that. What? No! Oh, that's rude! Oh! Do I have to do the whole stage again? Oh, no, okay. That's okay. That's kinder than I thought the game was going to be. Mm. Hi, Sadie, and happy birthday to your dad. Welcome to Zadette. This game came out this year. So, okay. I'm gonna say it. This actually is pretty good. I know. I know. I know, you would think that. I tried to anticipate it. So, here's the thing. It looks ugly, it sounds bad. 
It moves slow. The whole thing is ridiculous. But the weird thing about games like this is that there are a lot of older games that are bad because of their limitations. And this is actually built with those limitations in mind. not played Sword of Sodan. Yeah! We move on through the great map of Zedet. I've seen Sword of Sodan, but I've not played Sword of Sodan. Oh, wow. Okay. So having this huge sprite that dies in one hit to everything? And having your sword swing that just is this one little motion? Um, the game knows that that's all it gave you to get through this. So it designs all of its challenges around that. And so it very much becomes a game about, like, bargaining around your limitations. Yo! That's fine. And in that sense, even though there isn't anything particularly, like, satisfying about the sound or visuals that you're going through the game works everything works this game is doing exactly what it sets out to do That traps on purpose. Hi, Teller. Welcome to Zedet. I think this game's on sale for like a buck fifty right now. I forgot. So again, like... The game is, in a lot of ways, the game has taken the piss with, like, this whole, you know, you have this big muscle dude with his poorly animated walk cycle. And he dies to this one little bitty spike on the ground. Oh, is it $3? Okay, I wasn't sure, because I think I saw it was like 50... I thought I saw it was like 50% off. Um... So I wasn't sure if $3 was the base price or the sale price. That was fun. I can't believe I made that the first time. And then there's this jump, which shouldn't work, but will. Okay, three, normally six, got it.
Good old action 52 jumps there. Tentacles? No, oh, okay. So I've got a weirdly soft spot for a game that... Okay. I got a soft spot for a game like this that is flawed on purpose, but then designs around its flaws. <laughs> oh, okay, he spits. Got it. Hmm. So the question is, do we try to jump the fireball or do we try to slash the fireball? We slash the fireball. Excellent. Oh my god, it's so terrible! Yeah, okay. There's a hesitation. You gotta hit the fireball as it comes out of his mouth. This is what everyone gets for asking me to play a good game. You knew there would be an asterisk there. It's too easy to just play a game that's obviously good like Outer Wilds. You leave it up to me, and it's gonna be like, you're gonna get a game that's like, okay, hear me out. No, really, it is a good game. No, really, though. Ah, both work. That's fun. At least the checkpoints are forgiving. Absolutely prime Kusuke. Absolutely. Top shelf. Dictionary definition. But I maintain... Early. Okay, it's safer if I just wait until I see the shot come out. Nice. Four per cycle is good. Five per cycle seems like the maximum. Okay. 
We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Two, three. Hey! Tentacles are just tickles. Moving on further along the great map of Zedet. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't talked about it, but the fact that he just like, it doesn't matter what you take damage from, his entire body just falls completely to pieces. It's freaking hilarious. Oh. I see. Oh, that's, that's a, okay. Oh, that's a rude start. Oh, oh. That snake was rude. Oh my god. They keep outdoing themselves in the worst ways imaginable. Listen, I am unironically having a good time. Like, I'm aware that there is a certain degree of, like, sarcasm. And, oh my God. Was no good. I didn't have a choice. I think hitboxes are huge in this game is maybe a slight understatement. No, this is This is a dev who knows exactly what they're doing. It's so rare that someone is able It's so rare that someone is able to make something that like stuff like the room does not generally work if you do it on purpose. Like, you have to, you have to have such a strong vision and know exactly what you're doing. It has to come from some, it has to come from someone who knows exactly how to do everything right. Damn it. They have to know exactly how to do everything right so that they can take all of those knobs and turn them all the way down into the negative and be like, there. And have it work out. 
But I maintain, for as much of this is awful on purpose, there is a consistent, that might kill me. No, we're good. There's a consistent internal logic to this that actually makes it fun to play, despite all of the everything. All, all you have is move and jump and attack. Those are your only buttons. And you can't move any faster or slower. You just move how fast you move. That's all you got. And it's clunky and everything feels weird. But at the same time, you know exactly how it works. I tried to rush that. The greed caught me. We're gonna get it, it's okay. That was close. I mean, this music. Like, it's bad, but it's bad in a way that is... Like, they know. They get it. This to... I stopped moving too soon. This totally sounds exactly what they're going for. There is a... Uh... There is a stage in Double Dragon 1. The the music in the cave sounds almost exactly like that sort of like atonal noise. That's bad. This part right here. There's like a B section to the cave theme in Double Dragon 1 on NES specifically that sounds almost exactly like this. Oh, hey, NPC. I'm having a delightful time. Thank you. I mean, to answer your to answer your question more specifically, the game is treating me very poorly. But I mean, like, don't trust that jump. That one looks good. But I mean, like, you know, to the extent that that's kind of the point, those jumps. Let's go. Hi, Dragonhead. Uh, oh, geez, Tail. Oh, shit. Ow. That was very lucky. Hi, EK. Welcome to Zedet. That's all I have to say about that. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. We gotta start moving before the head leaves. Hmm. He's only got one grunt! He's only got- it's only the one grunt! Everything is- Ugh! Ugh! 
I'm pretty sure the death grunt is just that, but with an echo. No, it's a little bit different. He might have three grunts. But literally the opening cutscene was just that, but on a close-up. <laughs> Sorry, just listening to the music. Good one. Yeah! There we go. We got patterns. Oh, shit! Alright, now I'm scared. No! I was waiting for the... All right. All right. The pattern changes. The pattern changes because they know. They know exactly what your learning cycle is going to look like with this boss. Damn it. Greedy. They're like, oh, you think it happens this many times in this order and that's all that happens? No. Here comes the remix. Why did I swing again? Why, why would it, hmm. Nope. I wouldn't say that it is I wouldn't say that it's like, it, it's... The AI doesn't, like, adapt. It's the human intelligence that went into the pattern design. Okay. So we're gonna go one, two, three, move. Now what? Now it's all just blind reaction. Bottom. Base. Okay, that's the full pattern. Yeah! Stay hydrated. Really? Really? 